Hey, this is your friend Jennifer Sparks with Afternoon in Connecticut. Today I'm taking you down to the coast of Connecticut. We're going to be doing a drive and a walk around tour of the town of New London. We are personally visiting New London today because we are taking the ferry over to Block Island. There is also a ferry to Long Island as well. If you're looking to lodge here, the Holiday Inn would be the closest hotel to the city center, but there are other hotels within a mile or two away as well. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jennifer Sparks, and I'm just trying to make a YouTube channel to promote positive tourism in Connecticut. Okay, let me get into a little story of our day. We got there pretty early because we were hoping to get parking right by the boat, but we were already too late and there was no parking, and we were super early, so we figured, hey, let's go back and go take a ride, and I could get a video to show you guys what the town of New London looks like. This is my second time here. I took the ferry, the same boat, to the Block Island a long time ago, but we literally drove in, got on the ferry, and left. I never saw New London before, and honestly, I'm very impressed. It's a beautiful, historic town. Also in New London, you could find one of Connecticut's 10 Amtrak stations. We're waiting here patiently as the train goes by. It's pretty long. <laughs> Other coastal train stations for Amtrak would be Stamford, Bridgeport, New Haven, and Mystic. Some people use Amtrak as a way to come visit our Connecticut casinos. Um, Mohegan Sun from here for the Amtrak station in New London would be 15 minutes by an Uber or Lyft and Foxwoods would be about 30 minutes. I'm looking forward to do more videos about the trains and the towns that the trains are located in in the near future. That would be such a fun adventure and be so much fun to plan. To see more of my Connecticut videos, please consider subscribing to my Connecticut channel. You know, it's all about positive, fun things to do in Connecticut. I've lived here my whole life. There's so much more I want to see. Look at this town. It's adorable. I never even knew how cool this town was. We're driving in back of the historic Bank Street now. This is where you're going to find a lot of like the bars, restaurants, you know, that are right close off the train station, close off the ferry. I don't know. This town is really cool. I'm, I'm really excited to come back here and do some exploring and checking out some of these places. They have beautiful patios, really cool vibe here. live in New London or did you used to and miss it? Let me know in the comments below and please, if you want to add anything, feel free to add anything you want to in the comments. This is my first time really coming here. I know nothing about it. I'm just doing my best like all my videos just to share with you what I'm seeing and feeling. We don't have much time to explore this day because we're going to the ferry. We're going to Block Island, but you know, we're thinking maybe we'll go see if we can find a place to like stop and have a coffee. I'm always so fascinated walking into these old buildings that have been here like way before we have. <laughs> Probably 1800s. If you're curious about the history of New London like I am, I'm actually, after I finish voicing over this video, I'm going to go and I'm going to research it and I will leave that information in the description below. This might be a fun town to come around, maybe like on Christmas time. I don't know. It kind of has that Hallmark movie feel to it that you can walk around and stuff, but yet it's not completely quaint. You know, there's a little bit of like history and a little bit of scary it's a bit edgy but beautiful i don't know it's it kind of has a really really interesting vibe and i really dig it maybe it's haunted i don't know i think everywhere is probably haunted <laughs> kind of reminds me of burlington vermont a little bit
I'm here today with my sister Jackie, and as we were driving, we were both drawn to this Thames River greenery. We're like, what is that? <laughs> it's like cheese and wine and coffee and a pharmacy and <laughs> a florist. I mean, it, it was like a little bit of everything. And this building was amazing, like uh, absolutely amazing. I believe from what the person working there said that it used to be a, a, an ice cream parlor back in the 1800s. We were just fascinated. We loved it here. They said this room back here that they use for like banquets and concerts and stuff. I was just like, wow, sign me up. I want to come back here. <laughs> Look fun. We seriously need to head back to the dock though because we don't want to miss the ferry. That would stink and we still have to figure out where to park. And lo and behold, there's a parking garage right across the street from the ferry. And here are the parking rates. I think it was $18 for the day that we paid at the end of the day. I have to show you these elevators really quick. Look at the pictures on the elevators. Like, could you imagine, like, these people when they got their picture taken in the 1800s had no idea that one day they'd be on an elevator. So basically, allow yourself enough time to find parking and walk over to the ferry if you're going to be taking the ferry to Long Island or Block Island. If you are planning on going to the ferry, you could buy tickets online or you could buy them right there. This is actually where you could buy tickets for the Long Island Ferry. The Block Island Ferry has a stand outside. I do have a full video of both the ferry ride and my Block Island video, separate videos. This is just a video about the beautiful town of New London. Seriously, can't wait to come back for a longer visit. If you did enjoy this video, I'm going to leave some playlists at the end of this video. You can just click on the playlist and it'll take you to more of my videos. This is your host, Jennifer Sparks with Afternoon in Connecticut. Thank you so much for hanging with me. I really appreciate it. Get out there and enjoy your life. Go explore Connecticut. Pack your car and go. Be well to yourself. Be kind to others and have an awesome afternoon in Connecticut.